All right, so you're looking to get a computer on Cyber Monday. You want to get a great computer as a graphic designer. You want to get a good price, but more than anything, let me tell you, performance is key. You don't want to end up with a computer that's underperforming, but you got a great price on it. It just defeats the purpose of the price because if you can't get the performance you need and the price was great, then the computer was basically not worth anything. So make sure you're not, I guess, stolen and whimsy over the idea of getting a great price rather than getting a computer that has the specifications you need as a graphic designer. So I'm gonna walk you through the idea of how to get a deal, look for a deal, but then make sure you get the performance that you need. First thing I wanna say is this video is sponsored by Computer Upgrade Kings. If you wanna avoid all the Black Friday and Cyber Monday stress and not have to get out and search for computers and find a deal, they've provided me with a discount code specifically for this time of year. So you can head down into the description below, go over to Computer Upgrade Kings, take that discount code, and go get a great graphic design computer with the specifications we're about to talk about in this video. If not, we'll talk about some tips and tactics on how to get the best Cyber Monday deal. All right, let's jump into it. The first thing I wanna talk about is usability of your computer. Now, do you need certain ports on the side of your computer? Now, consider the MacBook Pro. It only has four ports, two on each side. Now, you need dongles to plug into those ports to plug in maybe a USB, to plug in an SD card slot, to plug in an HDMI port, whatever it might be, they only have those four ports. I find it far more useful to have my HDMI, my USB, my USB-C, my headphone jack and all that right on the side of my computer. But that's my preference. What works best for you? So as far as getting the right computer for you, make sure the usability is key. Now, are you somebody who likes a thin, light laptop and you can kind of, you know, not get as much performance if you're on a budget? Or if you're not on a budget, get the thinnest laptop with the most performance. But you have to consider if you're on a budget, maybe you have to get a little bit thicker computer to get a little bit more performance. So are you somebody who's on the go a lot, traveling, you need that thin and light computer? That's gonna be for you. If you're somebody who's less on the go, but you still like a laptop for some portability, maybe a little bit thicker laptop with a little more power is gonna be the way to go. So the thicker laptops actually breathe better and perform a little bit better on the benchmark test that I've run. So for instance, it runs on less CPU at a cooler temperature, which helps process your files faster, as well as load times and save times when you're working as a graphic designer. So there's some thoughts there on usability. The next thing I wanna talk about is the performance of the computer. So I recommend that computers have at least 16 gigs of RAM. They have an i7 processor, a solid state hard drive, as well as a GTX, at least a 960, uh, a Radeon 550, uh, or an MX150 graphics processing unit. This just allows you to render the screens well and fast and efficient. And if you're working in say motion design or you're working as a video editor, sometimes as a graphic designer, I do a lot of video editing with my YouTube channel. It helps to have a really good graphics processing unit. An i7 combined with a fantastic graphics processing unit makes for a really fast computer. The top recommendation personally that I like to make is at least the GTX 1050. Like I just mentioned, the 960 is good. You can get away with the MX150 or the Radeon 550, but the GTX 1050 is just a solid benchmark for a great graphic design computer. Why do I recommend the i7 for graphic designers? I recommend the i7 because it is the latest and the greatest. It's not quite the i9 because I don't really think you need that much performance to be a graphic designer, but it just allows for very quick speeds processing. I mean, it's the brain of your computer. So it's sending signals. It's telling the fan to turn on, turn off, send, save. All of that takes place in the processor. Right now we're using Mac minis at my office and they have i5 processors. I think they're like a sixth or seventh generation. And honestly, they're super slow. I find that half the time I'm trying to open multiple windows on my, uh, on my I almost said internet explorer. What is wrong with me? Oh. Chrome, Chrome on my Chrome. And it, it actually slows the computer down. It's crazy. So I think an i7 is worth the extra investment of money. All right, I have some computer recommendations in the description below. So you can check those out as we're going through this video. Also, if you wanna go and check out Computer Upgrade Kings with that discount code, definitely do that. Um, but I recommend a few computers. Uh, I'll just run through them really quickly. The Dell XPS 15 is a fantastic computer. I highly recommend it on the channel. The HP Omen is great if you're on a budget. The VivoBook Pro equally is good if you're on a budget. There's a bunch of MSI computers that I recommend. And then also CUK, Computer Upgrade Kings, has their own line of computers that have great performance for graphic design computers. There's a Gigabyte, there is just numerous computers that you could choose, but what I'm walking you through is the specs to make sure when you make a buying decision on Black Friday, 
you can get the right computer. All right, next thing you want is a solid state hard drive. Two reasons, performance, reliability. Performance, they're faster, no moving parts. Reliability, there's no moving parts, less to wear out. Very crucial. Why do we want 16 gigs of RAM in our computer? Well, what the RAM is used for is opening multiple programs at once. So each time you open a program, it uses some of the RAM. When it uses some of the RAM, it pulls it away and slows it down. After you open a certain amount of programs, all the RAM is used up. So if you have eight gigs of RAM, that RAM is used up faster. I recommend 16 because it allows you to open multiple programs at once. I run 32 because I just want a lot of performance and my computer is very fast because of it. Okay, so now that we have all the information out of the way about the best graphic design computer and you know that you can save the time and the lines by going to Computer Upgrade Kings, let's say you still want to weather the storm, check out some things on Cyber Monday, how do you snag a deal? Go informed. You've already done that. You know what you're looking for. You know the specs that you need. If you see a great deal, it doesn't match your specs, move on. Don't even look at it. Don't even tempt yourself saying, well, I could, you know, it could be a good computer. Don't waste your time. You want to make sure you're getting the best. The next thing is to go on Amazon, Best Buy, and B&H. Those are a few good sites for Black Friday deals, and they'll allow you to make sure that you can watch items before they come up. So go to the watch items list and really look at, okay, what's coming up in tech deals? And if you see something coming up, set a reminder on your phone, uh, on your computer, whatever it takes to remember to go back, wait for that item to come down. They usually have a countdown timer on those things. Set your reminder for a few minutes before, go watch it. As soon as it turns, snag that deal. Because oftentimes things go in a matter of minutes, seconds, or it takes them a couple hours. But you don't want to make you want to make sure you don't miss that turn time. And so that's really the biggest thing is being present when the deals come up. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Uh, it's something I just wanted to put out there. I, I just know more than anything, more than just snagging a Black Friday deal, I want to make sure graphic designers get computers that fit their needs. So I really hope this has helped you. If it has, please comment below. Go check out more videos on the channel. I'm Benji Kaiser of BenjiKaiser.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here on the next episode.